Hi everybody. <laughs> this is Ophelia and I'm um, doing my second live video. Um, I've been thinking, you know, what topic do I want to talk about today because we, you know, we have so many problems around us. And um, while I don't encourage people to look at the problems, you know, all the time concentrate on the, what's not going right, we have to at least acknowledge that we have problems. And um, that's the only how we can solve the problems. If we acknowledge that we have problems, then that's the only how we can solve them. And, you know, um, one of the most difficult things in life is you know when you are in a rough place and you you cannot cope with it because it's easy it's easy when everything is going smooth in your life to to just you know okay you have a job your relationship is going fine everything is going fine and you know it's easy for you to say oh well i am happy and then it's easy for you to you know, just become selfish and look at your life, but not the life of others. Um, but when you when you hit rock bottom, when you hit rock bottom and you you lose your job, you lose your re nothing is going right. Your relationship is going wrong. You know, everything you have financial issues, you have family problems. That's the time. That's that's when your true strength is tested. And I'm saying this because I've been there. I've been there, I, I mean, I, I, from 2014 until present, I haven't been employed. And not only that is that I've had um, um, other issues, relationship issues, and everything like that. But how, you know, how you choose to look, how you choose to look at your problems, that's going to determine what your, the quality of your life is. And um, for me, uh, what has been the most inspiring, inspirational thing for me is to go back to the bible because when when you're going through difficult times you you can't look at what you know what's in the world you cannot look at the the material things that you're not having you cannot look at um you know the, the, just the, the the distractions you have to focus on your spiritual life because only then would you be able to cope with whatever is going on and um my message to you today, especially men, because I, I, I think a lot of men um, are unable to cope with their situations. Um, a man who is not in a good job, uh, unemployed, a man who's experiencing relationship issues. They, um, some, of, some men, some men, not all, but some men tend not to, you know, they don't seek help. And, uh, they, they tend to see their situation as it is rather than trying to, to, um, take the difficult part and get out of it. So they, they do a, a number of things, including, you know, drowning themselves in the bottle, alcohol, going to, um, all of these parties and getting engaged in, in, you know, uh, in on the lustful things. Also, um, drugs robbery you name it so whether you're a man or a woman is like if you're having problems you don't take the easiest way out don't do that you might think okay you know doing drugs smoking weed well some people we marijuana has it has its medicinal effect you know value but smoking is definitely a no no smoking is definitely a no no it doesn't matter what you're smoking smoking actually affects the lungs we were never meant to take things into our body that that, that destroys it so you're going down the wrong path if you're if you the, and the fighting the, planning revenge for somebody who did you something um killing one another all those are weak you it 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 is you might say okay you're not brave to destroy someone else's life you're not brave to go and do a robbery what is brave is when you you um take the difficult part and say you know what i am going to make myself um you know i just improve myself but i'm going to do it the honest way and it goes back to the bible it goes back to the principles that we have i have been taught as children you, you, you be content with what you have don't look at what other people have because sometimes you don't even know how they're they're getting it so don't don't look at what other people have 
concentrate in a, a con, 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 concentrate on um building yourself and doing it the right way for me i could have taken uh, you know i could have taken a part and say okay let me go and um steal let me go and do drugs you know let me go and uh, but instead of that i choose to fight and i'm still fighting don't look at me and say okay everything is fine and i you know i'm i have i don't earn an income except for the little books that i sell and that is still struggling but you know what i am content with where i am in life and and it all starts in the mind it's not what happened to you, you know it not it's not what happens to you it is what it's, it is how you view your life and how you 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 decide to to make something out of yourself and you know what you have to do what i encourage a lot of people to do is to find your passion find something that is going to spur you on every day find your passion my passion is helping others because when i help others i help myself i get up every morning and i say to myself ophelia what message would you like to send to people out there what message would you like to hear for for yourself find something that you believe in it doesn't matter who else watch i am willing to stand up for everything that's right and i will die defending everything that is right so that's my passion and and that is what spur, spurs me on every morning every morning i get up thank you jesus for another day i'm content with what i have i i depend on someone else to pay my rent rent when the month is finished and I trust, I, I mean, I pray and I, I worry sometimes and say, okay, I'm fed up of depending on somebody else, but that's a friend God sent to me. I don't owe that person anything. I'm not sexually engaged with that person. That person is not obligated to helping me. And that person has seen it fit to help me because you know what? They're seeing my struggles. They see my struggles. They see how I am willing to fight. Don't sit down and take the easiest part or in whatever. If you believe in something, be willing to go all the way. Be, be willing to stand up for what you believe in. Because and you, if, if, you, if your agenda is coming from the wrong place, it's, it's not going to work. So you have to have to whatever you believe in. It has to be from the heart. There, there shouldn't be any other agenda to what, what, whatever you, 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 it has to come from the heart and it has to be real because if it's not, people are going to find you out. So uh, my message today is not look at your circumstances from where they are, from where you are. Don't look at it from where you are. I grew up in poverty. I grew up in a home where uh, my mother was being abused. I grew up, you know, with, and, and I mean, a lot of us can, can relate to this. I, I, at 19 years old, I became a single parent mother, but it didn't stop me. I kept fighting because I, I kept telling myself there is more to life than this. And, and, and you know what? It's easy to become hopeless when you look at what is going on around because it looks like if evil is winning, but it's not winning because the Bible tells us that, you know, in the end, it will look like if the wicked people are, and nothing is happening to them, but in the end, it, wickedness is destroyed. So don't go down the, the path. Don't sacrifice your lifetime of happiness for a moment of pleasure. Don't give up your principles, your integrity for, for, for temporary gains. Don't do it. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, when you, as you live to grow older, you, you, you are going to regret if you give up your integrity, your, your belief in what is right. If you give it up for, 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 for temporary gains, you're going to regret it. So whatever it is, especially our men, we need to really, you know, our men, we have, we are, we are seeing that they're not coping well with situations. And believe you me, it might look like if society is against men when they do something, but we feel for you. As women, we feel for men. But what we want men to do is not to succumb to temptations, not to, not to lash out in anger and to lash out at other people in anger. We want men to, to be able to look at their situations and say, you know what? Not because my dad and my mother grew up in this. That doesn't mean that I have to. If a woman, if you have a woman in your life and she's not building you, what do you do? You don't, you don't sit down and say, okay, I am going to, um, fight with her. Don't. You're a man. 
I'm, and I am so proud when I see men, when I see men uplifting themselves. I'm seeing Brenton here. Brenton, big up. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. I see Lee John here. I don't know you, but, but my thing is every time I see a man improving themselves in society, and I'm not just talking about degrees because I have friends who are carpenters, masons. As long as you are willing to work, I am proud of you. That, that, that's me. I am proud of, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not impressed with, with, with the white color, whatever. As long as you are working hard, it doesn't matter what job you are doing. As long as you're working hard, I admire you. So I'm challenging men, especially right now, because we're seeing a trend where, you know, um, we have so much violence in our society and I am not discriminating, but most of it is happening with men destroying other men and men attacking other women. Yes, there are men who are, who are, uh, um, being abused and, uh, and I condemn that as well because as a woman, I do not think I, 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 I'm, a woman should should be, abuse a man, and I and I just hate it. It makes me grieve because I have a son, and I'd never like to know that a woman is cheating him in in a, in a way like that. So, but I'm saying to you, men, there is hope. Every time you think of of doing something that that that's gonna put you in, because you regret it and I put you in jail, say, uh, um, what get you in some sort of trouble? Every time you think of it. Just tell yourself there is hope. Go back to your Bible. The Bible doesn't lie. And some people don't be believe in the Bible, but I'm saying if just go and read the principles. That book has all, all the guidance, all the answers to our problems. And we keep looking outside, looking at, uh, uh, looking in different ways for, for, for answers. The answers are in the Bible. I, and I know that I'm not perfect. I, I know that we're not perfect. But each day I get up, I, 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 you know, I am grateful for life. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. But it, it, it has to come from whatever you make of your life. That it, it, it's all in your hands. Because God gave us free will. He gave us free will to decide what it is that we want. And that, and, and that's why everything starts in the mind. So whatever you think in the mind, that is what's going to manifest in your life. So start thinking positive. There is hope. Don't get distracted by what is going on in society. Stand up for what is right, but at the same time, do not let it make you become hard in, hard in the heart. Don't do it. There is hope. There is there there is there there is a beautiful life if you if you could just look at your circumstances in a different light and start you know start start telling yourself oh, okay this doesn't have to be me this is this does this is not it because that's what I always tell myself and 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 when I do that is that I yeah I mean there are days when I get up and I don't feel so good. But it doesn't take long for me to really bounce back because I have more positive energy than negative energy. So it's all in the mind. Whatever it is that you're going through, the, the, it is like the mind. It's a powerful thing. It makes, makes your problems seem like if they, it is like you cannot overcome them. It makes and, and it, it stresses you out. It causes you diseases. And it 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 just affects the quality of your life when you when you have problems and you look at them as if you cannot overcome them. You have to you have to be willing to 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 start looking out looking beyond your your circumstances and that's what what we call faith faith that if you go down the right path that your life will be more worth living than than taking the easiest the coward way out of fighting you know you know i'm um, destroying others destroying your killing yourself killing others robbery you know um illegal drugs alcohol because alcohol is one of the main causes of a lot of things that is happening with us my stepfather he he drank all the time and every time he drank he was coming home and causing he caused and, and and fighting fighting my mother every time he 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 came home and and he drowned because he didn't know how to cope with his problems so he he just went to alcohol it is yes hudson grave life is what you make it and people need to realize that 
and and and, and be content there's a there, there is so much joy to be had if we are just content sometimes we worry yes because it's part of our nature but how you know instead of sitting and worrying and just feeling like a victim and feeling helpless we we, we need to start thinking okay it's what we make it and with that, we know that we have the power. We have the power to change our lives. We have it. We just don't realize how powerful we are. We don't realize that with God, everything is possible. Everything is possible with God. Everything. But we have to have the faith. And we have to have love. We have to have patience. So to know that if you start something today, it's not going to just... um. It's not going to just mature immediately. It's like a plant. You plant, you plant some trees that take forever to grow. Coconut trees takes a lot. How many years before we can get the fruit? And it, it, this concept should be applied to our lives. I started my blog um, a year and some ago. And, um, you know, I took steps and I'm still taking steps. Everything in our lives, um, uh, relationship, it, it ships, they take time to grow. Oh, everything, ourself. We're sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. We are our worst enemies. We're so hard on ourselves. When we ought to be patient, uh, patient with ourselves, we expect other people to be patient with us. But when it comes to ourselves, we are impatient. We, we, it's like we want to hustle things al along, but we have to take it one day at a time. Because I could remember, um, in last year, I was so, I was, and this is what I'm saying here. Is, is what, um, what I experienced. Last year, I felt so anxious. It's like every time I, I thought about what's gonna happen to me because I don't have a job, I'm gonna get thrown out of, of wherever I'm renting. And then I had to say, Ophelia, calm down. You can't, you, you have enough burden for today. You can't afford to, to, um, to, to, to look at what's gonna happen two months ago. You know, you just take it easy one step at a time. One step at a time. Just, just one step. God didn't build the, the, the world in, 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 um, in, in one day. He could have done that. Cause he's God. And, 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 and so we need to take these things. We look at the trees, nature, nature does it, it does it, takes its time and, and things change, it, change, change. We look at a banana tree we planted. It doesn't just grow up and shoot up one time and, and give us bananas. It, 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 you know, it, it, we, we see the, the stages that a banana tree goes through. And even when it's green, if you want it ripe, you have to wait. You have to have the, the, the patience to wait. So stop trying to rush your life along. Stop trying to get everything now. Learn to, learn to, to let go when, 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 um, when, when, when something is not going right, if a relationship is going down a path that you don't want it to go, learn to let go. You have to let go. Don't kill yourself. Let go. I've been there. I felt like my heart, somebody stopped me in my heart and I had to let go because it was destroying me. So you have to learn to, to, to let go. Let go of things that, that's not good for you. Don't, don't fight it. Don't try to destroy it. Jesus, God said, vengeance is his. And believe you me, if when people do you wrong, nothing that you can do to them is as vengeful of, as what God can do to that person. Doesn't make sense you, you try to, to get your own revenge. Yes, Joan, he is sustaining me. Believe you me, yeah, it's, 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 you know, and, and these are the things I, 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 I had to tell myself and I'm still telling myself. And it makes it easier for me to, 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 um, just go through each day. I don't have to say, Oh, you know, we, we, as soon as my, I wake up, I don't have to stoop and say another day again. I'm happy. I, I am, I get up in the mornings and I'm just happy to get up because I'm grateful. At least I, I have my basic needs are met. You know, um, my basic needs are met. I have food, shelter. I have clothing. And, you know, and they are met. And that's another thing I, I want to get into. I know this video is long, but, you know, people just come listen and go. That's okay. But um, I, I think in terms of um, our, our control over our lives, because um, I think one of the things that, that make us really uh, unhappy is when we are having financial stress. 
And if you're in a job, I'm saying to you that you live within your means. Don't go trying to keep up with, with your neighbor. Because chances are your neighbor might have all of these things and they are in bankruptcy. Don't go trying to keep up with the next person. Live your life simple. Be satisfied with what you have while you're walking towards getting more. When I came back um, from Cayman, everybody was like, why are you not buying a car? I probably would have been living in that car today because, you know, I, even if he, I, I had some money when I came back. Look at the length of time I've been unemployed. And, and if I wanted to keep up with the Joneses, even while I was in Cayman, if I wanted to keep up with the Joneses, I, I don't know where I would have been today. So you, if you're in a job, don't go spending all your money and, and, and all them luxuries. Save some for a rainy day. Because you don't know, uh, uh, in today's economy, you are, as long as you're employed with somebody else, it's, it's not a secure job. They can, they can, uh, you, you see how it's done. People get fired every day. Or laid off. People get fired, people get laid off. So jo your job is not, uh, you know, there's no such thing as job security. There is no such thing. So you, if you're in a job, just make the most of it. Save something for rainy days. And, and, and do, and look, and instead of investing in all the bling blings, take your money and, and do something worthwhile with it. Buy a piece of land. Build a house. Save some of it. Um, invest if you're in a, in a region where you can invest. Don't, 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 the, the, you don't, you don't have to be put it buying all the, I, even while I was working for a sufficient um, income, I never shopped when, when um, they didn't have sales. I always shopped when there were sales. Because I'll buy, I'll buy the brand, but I'm not buying the brand at the, at the, at the not, so I wait until it's like 75% um, discount. So if it comes to five, $5, I had my limit. And if I didn't do that, I, wouldn't, I don't know where I would have been today. So you don't stop keeping up with the Joneses. Stop trying to impress people who don't, some of them, they, 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 they themselves are catching their royal, you know, and, and you, they're trying to keep up with them. Stop, stop doing it. Life doesn't have to be so complicated. Life doesn't have to be so stressful. We are, we're gonna have stresses, but when we do with these negative things, we try to keep up with others. We bad spend our money on things that we don't need. And in the end, now you, you, you know, you're fishing like a fish out of water. Don't do it. I don't waste, I don't waste things. If I, when I buy, if I buy stuff, I can't go with them. I put them in the freezer. Learn to be able to, to, um, to live within your means. And not only that, but to, to be able to, and don't waste, don't waste things. Don't go buying what you don't need because in the end, sometimes you can't even sell them back to get money. You can't even sell it back to get any money. And you, you know, so don't, don't do it. Live a simple life. I love my comforts, but I, 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 there's a limit to everything. I love my comfort. I love to live in a, uh, and I, and I don't, I don't, um, I'm not cheap when it comes to buying food, the healthy food that I need for my body. But, and I, I'll prefer to spend my money on my food, keep my body healthy, than to spend it buying bling bling at, 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 at shoes for $200. You know, I know men's shoes are expensive and I know where, but you buy a shoe, take care of it. If it, uh, if you can sew it to make it last longer, do it. I saw, I, I take my shoes to the, um, the, the, um, shoemaker. I, I take my shoes there and, and I, and I, I, I take, I say, okay, bring this. I, I don't think I'm ready to part with it yet because I'm not, just because it, it has a little, uh, it raised up a little doesn't mean that I'm going to spend $50 to buy a new one. When you buy the new one, the new one is going to be, become the same. So just take it, sew it, sew, sew the shoes, keep it. If you, if you, if you have a pants and it has a tear, it's, it's not in a way that people are going to see. Sew the pants, don't throw it down. You don't need to have 50 handbags to match every, to, to match everything, you know. Anyway, my battery is low, folks, and it was nice doing this. And thanks for the comments. Um, Trini Bajan, Darren Douglas, Tony Graham, Hudson Graves. Um, Brenton Smith and everybody else, uh, Nyla, Prince, big up. Uh, my battery is low and I have to go. Um, I could talk all day, but this is just my first video. I promise not to bore you, but I just wanted to get some of this off my chest. So have a great day and bye.